Yo, okay, so imagine this, right? You hear your first ever Glaive song, and you've never made music, but this is just like the push to make your first ever song, but you don't know how. This is what I wrote my book for. I'm gonna have a link to it in the description. It covers literally everything, how to make hyper pop and how to even like just start making music in general. When you go to download it off my site. I'm gonna send you an email and it's gonna be titled something like uh, what I have on the screen right now. Look in your promotions or your spam because you wanna read this stuff that I'm gonna put in these emails. With all that uh, out of the way, I'm gonna show you how to record your hyper pop vocals. When we load up FL Studio, we have this thing right here if you don't have it it's right here if you click this button all we have to do to start recording is we go up to the top right here and we click in, in one, one. Uh, sorry uh, uh now our vocal is tracked to a mixer track so now theoretically we rec <sighs> theoretically we could record something but we want to add a little bit of some effects so that it sounds good so the first effect we're going to add on is a, a limiter but we're going to use it as a sound gate what that basically is is if you listen to my mic when, when I, I turn, turn it up, up we have uh we have all of this this gain and uh, not gain we have all of this uh white noise kind of what we want to do is use a noise gate to filter out that noise so that when we're not talking during recording it'll be nothing all we have to do is come into a fruity limiter and turn up the threshold a little bit and then you play with it and, and then you turn, turn down, down the gain all, all the way. way. You play with the threshold and the release, you don't really have to bother with That's that. That's how you use a noise gate. You figure out these settings by yourself. They're very simple to figure out. Anyway, after the noise gate, we want another limiter. This one is going to be just the limiter itself. So we're going to turn down the envelopes and we're going to turn down the ceiling. Just to the point it's not limiting too hard, but it's still limiting. And what this is gonna do is when our when our vocals go loud, when we're say we're belting or we're singing very loud or screaming or something, this is gonna make it so it doesn't clip, which clipping is bad, so that's why we have this. When I go loud, if I have the thing off, if you look, it's gonna go in red. Ah! It goes way up here, but if I have the limiter, ah! I think no, I don't think that made a difference. But if you're recording, going to limit down the very high things so that it sounds more on a closer range. Compresses down the sound, but it's not actually compression, it's limiting. And then the next thing is um, you can add some saturation, but this isn't necessary, but we're going to do it anyway. You load up your plugins. Um, mine seems to be bugging out right now. Here we are. Oh. <clears throat> Here we are. Okay, we, we don't, don't want to have this too high because it will sound like this and that's a little bit too overwhelming and clipping too hard so we turn it just a little bit down and it can give a little bit of uh, clarity to your vocals so yeah that's nice um last thing some people like to put an eq on their vocal and if you look here we have uh down here we have this and, and if, if you, you listen, listen it is very very ugly sounding so some people like to just do a cut like this because they don't really, really need, need bass, bass because, because the the beat does that itself the beat normally covers this area with its 808s or bass or whatever pretty unnecessary to have all this here because it'll make it very cluttered that's all i really do to record the vocals uh then we also can put on um Edison to start actually recording. If you didn't know how to do that, you just find Edison. So it's right here. And then all you do to record is just click on in on input and then it'll start recording. Then you stop and then you drag it here. So yeah, that's how you record your vocals for uh hyperpop. And that's how you record your vocals just in general for music. Uh, this is a pretty basic tutorial, but I'm going to try and reach out to as many people as possible to teach everyone I can. Make sure to go download my book. You can join my Discord also in the description. So Hyperpop Discord, if you need help or feedback or anything like that, go in the description. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I love you.